Welcome back to this new video of TechPress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with the Plus 500, which is one of the most popular and user-friendly platforms out there. Before beginners, navigating a trading platform can feel daunting. So in this comprehensive guide, I will be walking you through how to use the application from opening an account to placing your first trade and managing your risk. So uh, the Plus 500 is an online trading platform so this allows you to trade contracts from four different or you can name this as CFDs. So with the CFDs you're speculating on the price movements and up and on their line as assets like for example their stock, their currencies, their communities or the cryptocurrencies without actually owning the asset itself. This means you can potentially profit from both rising prices and falling prices. Plus 500 offers a huge variety of instruments for major forex pay pairs like the, uh, for example, EUR, USD to popular stocks like the Apple, Tesla, Global Interest, Gold, Oil, and much more stuff. So to get started, basically, you're going to go directly here into plus 500.at and go for the option that says start trading. It should be asking you to generate and create an actual account. You can try it out with the real money or the mode. In my case, I'm going to try it out with the demo mode so you can I can show you how exactly does the plus 500 works. So I'm going to just create an account with my email. I just add my Gmail account already been created and there we go. Now, when we have now created that element once registered, to move to real money traded, you'll need to verify your account. In this case, we don't need to verify our account because we are actually using a demo mode. Now, let's navigate to the platform. Into the left sidebar, we have the main menu. This shows the categories, for example, the search bar. We have the chart area, there are the orders, there are the insights, there are the funds, and the trade box. So, they're close position, for example, but basically what you want to be focusing on is into the trade element to know how to get started. Now, um, I'm gonna, of course, try to do this very easily. We can find a core trading placing an order. Let's say I wanted to trade, I don't know, maybe Apple stock, see if these. So here to search our instruments, I'm gonna type, for example, Apple. And here it is, uh, AAPL. And here's the information about what I'm actually checking out. Here's to sell and here's to buy, right? So let's say that here I have 1 million Mexican pesos. So what I can do is to hit into buy and you can of course tell how exactly you want of course to make the payment of it. This is the value of my order. Here's the rate and here's the edit. So this is the number of units of the contract you want to trade. This allows you to control in larger precision with less capital. Now, if you focus, for example, with the minimum amount of the capital required from your account to the open positions, you focus into initial margin. So be extremely cautious when leveraged, as it amplifies losses as just as much as it gains. But if you're just getting started, I want to be focusing only, uh, for example, with the closed profit. Now, um, here is my order should be creating right away. I can, of course, look out for more. For example, I don't know, maybe Amazon. And here's the Amazon. I can hit into the option that says buy. And here are a few shows. So let's say that I want to look out for less of it. Now here have the close of profit. The close of profit is set a target price. If the market reaches this specific price, for example, I don't know, maybe a little bit the minimum. Uh, you can trade with automatically close, securing your profit. This can be really helpful. Or you can just look out for uh, close at last. This is your most important risk management tool. We can set a maximum price you are willing to lose. If the market moves against you and hits this price, you trade with automatically close to limit your losses. Always, you want to always use the stop loss if you are getting started. Right? So this is going to be really, really important. So here, it should be appearing at my uh, close at loss. Now there we go. There are future orders. Now the future orders can be appearing here into the advanced or it can not be appearing. 
basically your future orders if you don't want it open to trade immediately you can set it buy when the rate is or sell when the rate is this means the trade will only open if the instrument reaches your specific price right and we have the managing our funds deposit and the withdrawal we can of course focus directly into your account which is appearing here to the left section of the menu here I have my trade my opening position my order close position inside and funds when i click into funds i can check out the withdrawal so when i have real money for example this is my equity my initial margin and the maintenance margin now we can of course switch or set up some demo funds and what i can do is to submit more or get less or in my case since i have real money let's say that i can go for switch to real money when i have real money here into the plus 300 what i can do is to withdraw that money into my banking account and basically there you have it a really easily way of how you can actually get started with the risk management tip now always use a stop loss because it's a primary defense against certificate losses. Start with a demo account, practice until you're completely confident, understand the leverage, do not risk more than you can afford to lose. It's a really, um, it's one of the first rules of the trading with capital you are prepared to lose. Only trade with the capital that you are ready to lose. And educate yourself. So you can use the trading academy and other resources to learn more about the markets and trading strategies. Plus, the 500 platform is powerful and straightforward, making this accessible even for beginners. So by understanding its interfaces, we can use risk management tools and practice diligently, and you can confidently explore the world of the CFD trading. So let us know in the comments below what you think about this great application. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to check out more applications and more tutorials about, in this case, the Plus 500. Thank you once again for watching the video. See you next time.